guys welcome back to my channel sorry that i'm out in this horrible lighting um i'm gonna be doing a baking video today sorry that um i'm in my garage if y'all can tell um sorry my little brother's watching tv in there so i had to do the intro right here so welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a baking video and yeah let's get started let's go head to my kitchen Quick disclaimer, my little brother is still watching TV, and so if there's a little commotion in the background, I'm terribly sorry. I can't just, like, tell everybody to get out of the living room. So, anyways, I'm really sorry about that, guys. I really hope that you all be able to hear me good. You probably should, but there might be, like, a little bit of, like, a TV show sound in the background. So, that's my disclaimer. So, I'm really sorry about that. Okay, so now that we're in the kitchen, I'm going to list off everything that you need. So, you're going to need brown sugar. You're going to need vanilla, yellow cake mix, two eggs, and butter. And that's it. And I'm going to insert a picture of the recipe right now. So now we are going to go make the butter. So the first thing that you are going to do is you are going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then you're going to take one stick of butter and put it in the microwave until it is soft. As you could probably tell whenever I was microwaving this, it got really, really melted, but that's okay. It will not ruin anything, but I would recommend you um, microwave it until it's completely soft. See, in this part you can see it's very, very melted, which is okay, but I would not recommend doing that. That was a total accident, um, but yeah. So now you're going to put the butter inside the mixer, and you will need a paddle attachment. So I just put the butter in. Now you're going to take one cup of brown sugar, and then you are going to mix it until it is completely soft and fluffy. As you can tell, I had it on low, and then I'm gonna crank it up to medium and high until it is completely um, fluffy. So you can watch that happen. You can see that it's starting to get there. Okay, see, so that's a couple minutes later, and now it's super duper fluffy. So now you're going to take a spatula, and you are going to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Just like that. Okay? So you're going to scrape it off the paddle and off the sides of it. Just like that. I kind of spilled it on the sides of it, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to add in one cracked egg yolk. Well, not just the yolk, just one cracked egg. And now you're going to mix it. You can put it on whatever speed you want, just not high at, like right as you turn it on, don't turn it on high speed or else it's going to flick everywhere. So you can see it's super duper eggy, but that's okay. You just turn up the speed a little bit more and very soon it will look just like that. Okay, so now you're going to scrape the sides of the bulb. Sorry that my dad is in the background. <laughs> okay, see, so now you scrape it off of the paddle. And there's my dad. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. And now you're going to add in one more egg. And as you can tell, the egg yolk was kind of cracked, but that's okay. Um, and now you're just going to mix it until it is fluffy and you do not see the egg anymore. So you can see it's super duper eggy, but that's okay. You're just going to keep on mixing it. Um, mix it on medium speed and you can crank it up to high as soon as you don't see the egg anymore. And very soon it'll look just like that. Okay, and now you're going to scrape down the sides again. It's very important that you scrape down the sides um, because it gives it a thorough mix. So that way you don't have any clumps of anything in it. See, I am scraping down the sides. Okay, so now you are going to add two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That says one teaspoon on it. <laughs> Okay, so now you're going to add one teaspoon, and then you're going to add another teaspoon, 
and this is just pure vanilla extract. Okay, so now that you've done that, now you're going to mix it until it's completely mixed in. It's going to take you just a couple of seconds, and then as you can see, I had a little excess of the vanilla extract left in my teaspoon. Okay, so now you're just going to crank it up until it is all smooth and out, and you don't see the vanilla anymore. See? Now you don't see the vanilla anymore, and I let y'all have a closer, like, close-up of the batter so y'all can really see what it looks like. And if y'all didn't know what we're making, we are making blondies. It's kind of like brownies, but it's like if a brownie and a cookie had a baby. That's what it would be like. Okay, now you're going to add in just regular yellow cake mix. It doesn't matter. I'm using Kroger brand, and again, it does not matter what brand. You just need yellow cake mix. You can use white cake mix if you don't have yellow cake mix, but then you'll have to add in more butter. But it's so much easier just to use yellow cake mix. Okay. So as y'all can tell, I'm smoothing it out, and then you are going to cut. See? There you go. So you cut it off the seal, and now you're just going to add in the entire thing. You're not going to add in parts of it. Add the entire package inside of the mixer. Make sure to get it all, because most of the powder will hide. <laughs> and one thing you are not going to do, as you can see, um, you are not going to follow the recipe on the back of the cake mix box. You're just going to add in the flour and throw away that box. You do not need to use the recipe on the back of the cake mix box. You do not use that or so you're going to mess up your blondies. So as you can tell, it's kind of like dry, but the more you mix it, it's going to get so much better. See, and I turned it on high and you're just going to keep on mixing it until you don't see any more um, of the powder. Okay, so that's better. So now you're just going to scrape down the sides, as you can see. <laughs> you're just going to scrape down the sides of the bowl and off of the paddle, the paddle, excuse me. <laughs> okay, so as y'all can tell, I'm scraping it all down. Make sure to get to the bottom of it because that is where most of the um, powder and the butter hides on the very bottom of it. See, now you're just going to scrape off all the batter off of your paddle. As you can probably tell, it's kind of hard, but you want to get off as much as you can. So I left quite a bit of the batter on top of the paddle because one of my siblings is going to eat it probably, <laughs> but I would not recommend eating the batter because it has two eggs in it. Okay, see? And now you're going to take a 9 by 13 inch pan and line it with cooking spray. You can rub butter on it, but the edges will be so crispy you will not even be able to bite into it. It'll be like kind of like toffee, like it's not great or taffy, whatever. <laughs> so definitely would recommend just using some nonstick cooking spray. Okay, and now you're just going to scrape in all of your batter. And there's a lot in there, so you better scrape all the sides of the bowl. Okay? Okay. So... As you can see, I'm almost done, and there's still a lot of batter left in it, so I'm just going to scrape down all the sides of the bowl. And I'm just going to wipe off the spatula because there was a lot of batter on there. Okay, so now you're just going to spread it out completely evenly. You need to spread it out evenly. That's very important, or so you're going to have one side that's super gooey and one side that's not gooey. Next, you're going to take some... Any chocolate chips that you want, you can put a dark chocolate, but I'm using this milk chocolate, Kirkland brand chocolate chips. Sorry that my brother is in the frame. <laughs> he saw chocolate and I was like, I want some. Okay, so now you're just going to sprinkle as much as you want. You can add in dark chocolate, and there is my dog in the background. <laughs> Sorry about that. You can add dark chocolate or milk chocolate or both, but I don't have any dark chocolate on hand, so I'm just going to use these regular milk chocolate chips. Okay, now time to go into the oven. So you're just going to open it up and put it on the middle rack. Okay? Make sure that it's on the middle rack or else it will not cook evenly. Okay? So now you are going to turn on the um, timer for 25 minutes. And uh, at 25 minutes, it should be done. Okay, so the timer just now stopped. And now we're going to check on it. It looks really, really good, but just to check, we need a toothpick just to make sure because we're going to stab it in the middle. Make sure 
to stab it on a side where it's just the dough and not the chocolate chips because of course the chocolate chips is going to be kind of gooey so make sure to stab the um, toothpick into um, the batter and not a chocolate chip. I forgot a uh, oven mitt <laughs> so now I'm going to pull out the rack a little bit and uh, I'm going to stick the toothpick inside of the really doughy part as you can tell it's kind of it still has a little bit of batter on it which means it is not done see i'm trying to that means no <laughs> if you have a little bit of the batter on top of the um toothpick it is not done see okay so now i'm going to put it back in the oven see <laughs> i'm gonna put it back in the oven for about five minutes i'd say See? Five minutes. Okay. So in five minutes, it should be done. Okay. So five minutes is up. So now we are going to check on the blondies. Whoa, that looks really good. As you could tell, like it's not as gooey anymore. So I'm just going to take both of my oven mitts um, and open it and get out to the blondies. But first I want to um, feel the batter and um, just in case I'm just going to put a toothpick inside of the blondies just to make sure because sometimes it looks dumb but then as soon as you put the toothpick in it's not done so <laughs> okay yeah see it's good I put like I used my finger and tapped a little bit and it was not very gooey and as you can tell it's perfect clean stick toothpick whatever <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to grab my oven mitts and I'm going to take out the blondies. Right now. <laughs> I was just trying to get the camera so that way you could see that I am taking it out. Okay, so now you're going to take out the blondies and you can either put it on your oven, but I have some heat pads, heat proof pads on top of the countertop, so that's wherever I put it. Okay, so now you're going to put the oven rack back in and yeah. Okay, now you're going to clear the oven so that way it starts cooling off. So here's our finished product. It's amazing, and if you did 25 minutes and wasn't good, and then you did 5 more minutes and it still wasn't quite right, like the outside was really dark but the inside was still gooey, you can put foil on top of the blondies and put it back in the oven until the inside is completely done. But as you can tell, um, I did not need to do that. So now, as you can tell, what I'm doing with my hand is I'm doing hand movements of where to cut it. So they're going to be like bars, kind of. Oh, and I forgot to say, inside the recipe, it said to use nuts. I'm not using nuts because um, I just like it better without the <laughs> nuts. And so I just add the chocolate chips. And one thing that I did not mention is I do not um, uh, measure my chocolate chips. I just <laughs> sprinkle on however much I want. So you can put the nuts inside of the um, blondies. I don't know if y'all caught that at the recipe but I did not add any. Okay, see, so now y'all can tell this is where I am cutting them into bars. And I had a pony on and it was getting inside of the chocolate chips. <laughs> okay, see, so now I'm just going to cut each one. And as you can tell, it's kind of soft. I let this cool off for probably about 15 minutes because you wanted to let it cool before cutting them, but I let them cool off for about 15 minutes and then I go ahead and cut them so that way it will release heat better. Okay, see? So now I cut them, and as you can tell, it's still kind of like gooey, um, but yeah. Video, um, I don't really know how often I'm going to be posting baking videos because this is a craft channel, so I'll be doing baking videos every once in a while, not as often as I do craft videos, but I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really hope y'all like these. Um, blondies, and if y'all didn't really know what blondies are, blondies are like brownies, but not, it's like a cookie brownie kind of, but anyways, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video, make sure to get a big thumbs up if you like this video, and don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and don't forget to click the bell right next to the subscribe button so you're notified every time that I post, and yeah, I'll see you next time, bye!